We are looking at costumes from the beginning of the 20th century, 1904. They're all very different and you get to see a lot of different aspects of the turn of the century. The main characters in the show tend to be more natural and then you have the characters that come in and kind of steal the spotlight for a second and they're actually in brighter colors so that you know that they're there for a certain purpose and their costume is indicative of that. My concept was whenever someone enters or whenever someone leaves the bar, we hear the sounds of Paris. So we're grounded in reality still. But inside the bar, this is where all of these creative ideas are born. So I kind of wanted to have fun with that and play with the surrealism that, that anything can happen. As I go you know, online and just find clips or create clips that I can then edit and manipulate into what I want it to be. A lot of the shows in this theater have been done on stage, more so behind the proscenium, but what the director wanted to go with for this show was more of an intimate setting. It gave me an opportunity to hang things on walls and like attach things to the proscenium itself. As you walk into the house, you'll feel like you're in the bar. A lot of things for props has got to be historically accurate. Basically, just go through the script, find what's being used, start doing research on those different types of items. Since it's a bar, there's lots of uh, different things that go involved with that, you know, glasses and bottles. And there's a wall that's supposed to have a sheet painting on it that I'm painting, and it's supposed to magically change into the Le Demoiselle. Yeah. Makeup wasn't a commodity, so it was more of a natural look than what we're used to nowadays. Things are a lot different. Women didn't wear their hair down, they wore it up. Men don't wear makeup, but they have lots and lots of facial hair. And so we had to end up building for a couple of the guys. It's just a way to express who I am. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I get to play with hair, I get to learn new things, and I don't see myself doing it.